All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Chakrash, the one side elders and apostles of Great Mules, and I do it well. And salutations and blessings to Akhman, I push this word with truth, sincerity, and charity. All right, today, I would like to get into this quick lesson. I'm going to title it, The Great Humbling is Coming. All right, The Great Humbling is Coming. Because hey, all these people out here in this world, are they walking amidst pride, man? Thinking that none, none can happen to them. Thinking that they can't be touched, especially all right, those that a be of America, all right, the Americans, man, living this westernized lifestyle, I right, think they can do whatever they want to do, they can move however way they want to they they want to move, man. They can get up and do do whatever they want to do. Hey, hey you you're gonna be humbled very very soon, hey, as you've seen in um 2020, all right, the the beginning of 2020 with the pandemic. All right, hey, hey, you you weren't able to do what you want to do, man. Hey, Esau was showing you a little in inkling uh, of that great wrath. All right, him having uh, the, uh these more and more tricked the laws out here. All right, curfews and all these things, man. All right, you happen to put on a mask in order to shop inside of a store. All right, hey, that's that's a uh, you know the first step of you people being humble. All right, showing that hey, this is not always gonna be a country where you're gonna do do whatever you want to do. It's not gonna always be times that you're that, that you're gonna be able to do whatever you want to do and live your life the way that you want to live your life. The Lord is about to humble you people, man. All the pride that you walk in, all you bitches, all right, these women that walk around thinking that hey, they shit don't stink when they damn sure do. All right, thinking that nobody can <laughs> say anything about them. You know, they're the most beautiful thing on the planet Earth. The Lord finna show y'all, man. He finna show y'all that y'all ain't nothing. All right. So hey, any further ado, I'm gonna jump into it. This Daniel 12 and 1, it says, and at, that, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people, which hey, is the Israelites, and starting off with, with the elect. Because, hey, that's what Yahweh Shai and Michael, the, arch, the, arch, the archangel, is going to come to do. All right, coming to redeem the elect and destroy this, this wicked and evil world. And hey, even before that, a great hell is going to be on this planet Earth. It says, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to even to that time, even to that same time. So, at the times that are coming, are 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 times that we have never seen before, man. A the the transatlantic slave trade, the a, the time of of our hardcore slavery, we were being a bug break, or our teeth were getting broken, I in order for Esau even to force feed us, man. Hey, us being on the slave ships when, uh, you know, we were stacked on top of each other. Hey, we pissing and shitting on each other's heads and body parts and all these things, man. Hey, the Lord said it's going to be a time worse than that. A time worse than anything, anything that, that has ever happened in, in history since there was a nation. So, I mean, there's going to be great death, hey, great sufferings. It's also going to be great miracles in that time. But hey, and, 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 and you know, hey, for what I'm talking about right now, man, it's gonna it's gonna be great death out here for you people, all right, for you wicked and evil people that walk in that pride, thinking that you don't need your Hobbit Shemal Shai, thinking that you don't hey, need a man for for you women, thinking that you can do whatever you want to do, thinking hey, you men thinking that you're so fucking hard, man, thinking that can't nobody touch you just because you got a gun, man. The Lord finna show you that that shit don't mean nothing. It was just a, a little nigga dad. Uh, rapper uh, J.D. Youngin, all right, because hey, hey, the Lord finna show all y'all that hey, that that lifestyle that y'all living is a death style, man, and it's eventually gonna lead to your death and your downfall. Pride, a hey, pride is, is is a start of, of a downfall, man. Hey, I'm gonna grab uh, Proverbs, Lord willing, but it says, and at that and at that time, thy people shall shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book, and that's only the elect. All right, the elect are the ones that's gonna be saved because there's because they're calling on the holy name of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. It says that it says that the elect shall praise. Uh, let me let me just grab it. Sirach seventeen and ten. It says, and the elect shall praise his holy name. The elect are the only ones that are gonna praise the holy name of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Therefore, they will be the only ones to get that protection. Proverbs eighteen and ten. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. All right, his name is Yahweh. And the son's name is Yahweh Shai. It says the righteous running into it and is safe. So the righteous are, are going to run 
towards the name of Yahweh Hashem and they're going to be saved. They're going to be delivered. But as for the rest of you people, hey man, just prepare for great death and great judgment. Hey, these people don't think that these things are going to happen anyway, so so be it. That's a part of that pride, man. Hey, you're not thinking that anything is going to happen to you. All the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, man. You think that World War III is never going to come? You think that a hey, life is always going to be peachy and creamy and all these things, man? You're not going to have to, a, uh, uh, you know, go out here and hunt and, you know, fan for yourself, man. Hey, man, the Lord going to take all this shit away. All right, like, like the scriptures say, the, uh, the storehouse shall suddenly be found empty. You're going to go one day inside of the store, your local grocery store, your local corner store, and it ain't going to be shit. Not even a bag of chips going to be out there, man. Not even a piece of candy. The Lord finna turn this place upside down, man, like you have never seen before. Hey, this place will be humble. This is, um, hey, yo, uh, you, you know, before I read this, I'm going to grab this. Yeah, Proverbs. This is uh the book of Proverbs. 16 and verse 18 it says pride go before destruction and then haughty spirit before a fall so hey, what what is pride first and foremost pride go before destruction man this is rock 10 and verse uh 12 it says the beginning of pride is when one departed from yahweh and his heart is turned away from his maker so hey that's that's the beginning of pride man when you think that you don't need uh, the Most High, you think you don't need His ways. Your ways are better than the ways of Yahweh Shem Al Shai, the ways of the uh, uh, of the Creator of heaven and earth. When He said that hey, His ways are, are are higher than our ways, man, His ways is what's profitable for our life, not the ways that 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 we think is. A hey, Proverbs uh, three and verse five. We're not supposed to lean to our own understanding. We're supposed to lean to the understanding of Yahweh Shem Al Shai. And if you're not leaning to the understanding of the Lord, you will be destroyed, man. You will be humbled. You will suffer. You will pine away. Yeah, a lot of people are going to starve to death because, because of your pride. It says, for pride is the beginning of sin. And that's, and that's what breeds sin. All right? A pride is what breeds sin because you're turning away from Yahweh Hashem Shai. You're turning away from your maker. So now you're going in every other way of wickedness, every other way of, of, of idolatry. Everything that, that, that goes with a uh, wickedness, you're going to go and do. Because you're not thinking about the Lord. You're thinking about your own your own heart, all right, which is deceitful. As it says in um, Jeremiah, the 17th chapter, all right, your heart is deceitful, man, and it will lead you to death. It says, and he that hath it, I'm going to read over this proverb, uh, Salakia, Sirach 10 and 13. For pride is the beginning of sin, and he that hath it shall pour out abomination. And therefore, Yahweh brought upon them strange calamities, and overthrew them utterly. So hey, for your pride, you will be a, a trans calamity is going to come upon you. The Lord has a many great judgments written in this book, man. Written in this Holy Bible. And they all will befall those that are that are uh, the workers of iniquity. Pride. Do not think that you need the Lord. Do think that a, a, you're, a, a, what, what you what you want to do is the best thing. The Lord is going to show y'all that it ain't, man. You will be humbled. Every single last one of you, man, woman, child, don't matter. Uh, Proverbs 16 and 18, it says, Pride go before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. So, hey, that pride, all right, you turn away from your Shema Shemal Shai, you turn away from your maker, hey, it's going to lead to your destruction. That haughty spirit is going to lead to your fall. It's going to lead you be, to you being humbled. Well, you should have been humble in the first place. It says, better it is to be of a humble spirit with the lowly, then to divide the spoil you with the proud. Because, hey, here it is. A lot of people want to be a part of, of America. They want to live the American dream. They want to live the, the, you know, the, uh, uh, um, the Edomite lifestyle, man. They want to be like the so-called white man. They want to wear a suit and tie. They want to be rich. They want to be up in a mansion. When the Lord, hey, the Lord didn't set us down here to, to do that, man. He set us down here to be humble. For us to say, well, hey, man, hey, I, know, I know that we need the Lord. Look at the condition that we're in. Look how fucked up our people are. I, I know that we need the Lord. We should be humble right now, man. And we should be humble. But our people want to be, they want to be rich. They want to be famous. They want to be of this world, man. Therefore, the Lord is gonna, Lord is gonna let them do that. The Lord is gonna let them be a part of this world. Wanna be a part of this world, man? You will die with this place. This is Jeremiah 30 and verse 5. It says, For thus said Yahweh. 
We have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace, because there is no peace coming, man. There is no peace. It's only destruction and, and, and desolation coming to this land. The only peace is going to be in the kingdom of heaven. There is no peace here. There is there is never been peace here, man. And the Lord is going to turn it up so so much that it is it's not going to be any inkling of peace whatsoever. It ain't gonna be no. And hey, you can go to L.A. You know you can uh, sit out. You know sit out inside of your little mansion, man, and watch the sun the sun rise. No, nah, man, it's gonna be a purge. It's gonna be a purge every single day. A purge like we ain't never seen a uh, in these movies and all this shit. All right, they don't even hold a candlestick to what Yahweh Shemal Shah is really going to bring out here, man. So it says, ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail and all faces turn into paleness. So it says that a man is, is, is going to be, you know, as a, as a pregnant woman or right, having his hands on his loins, man, you know, shaking in fear, trembling. All faces turn to paleness, like you, like you seen a ghost, you know, like they show you up on a on them cartoons when they, you know, when somebody jumps out and scared them or something like that, and then all the blood just goes down to their feet and they just turn pale, you know, they, you know, they run away, hide in the corner, man, they, their hands on their loins and they shaking, trembling and shit. All right, that's what the Lord is gonna do to these, do these mighty men out here, these men out here that think they tough and all proud and ain't not needing the Lord. They 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 thinking that what they're doing is is the best thing and the most profitable thing and the Lord's gonna show you, all right, they, they you you are nobody, what you think is is nothing, man, but folly and wickedness. It says, alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even, uh, the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. And that's that's only the elect, all right. At Daniel twelve and one. And it is Jeremiah 30 and 7. They, it's only the elect are the only ones that are going to be delivered from, from that destruction and these calamities that are to come. This hell that is to come. We are, a, we are the only ones that are going to be delivered because we serve the Lord. Everyone else is going to be caught up in Jacob's trouble. They're going to be caught up in, in, in the four sword judgments that the Lord has prepared for them. Jeremiah 15 and verse 2. It says, And I shall... And, and it shall come to pass, if they say unto thee, Where shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, Thus said Yahweh, Such as are for death to death, And such as are for the sword to the sword, And such as are for the famine to the famine, And such as are for the captivity to the captivity. So uh, the Lord has, has many great judgments out here awaiting, awaiting you people, Awaiting you wicked, evil, prideful people, man. Because our people definitely walk, walk, walk in that, 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 um, uh, my shit don't stink spirit, man. Our people do whatever they want to do. They think, hey, whatever they doing is not going to come back to bite them in their ass, man. And it definitely is. The Lord is about to humble you people with these, with these judgments. All right, with this death, this sword, this famine. Especially, hey, this famine, man. You people will be humbled. All right, you not being able to eat. And these people stuff their faces every single day, man. Every single hour. You know, not even every single day. We all, you know, we all eat every day if we're not fasting. All right. But these people eat <laughs> like they're, they're gluttonous. You know, they eat every every hour if they possibly can, man. They, they they do it nonstop. And at that, it's abominable foods. So the Lord has to come and bring a, a judgment on these people, a humbling on these people. It says, and I will appoint over them for a kind, said Yahweh, the sword to slay. This is what's coming for you people. Hey, only the sword to slay. The dog and the dogs to to tear, and the fowls of heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. This is the only thing that's coming for you people. It's a a destruction. You being devoured by these plagues and judgments that Yahweh Shemal Shai has set up. Whether it be strange apparitions, and a newly created beast in the earth, and you people will will be a torn apart by it, man. And the sword Esau Edom. You know, and the things that he has prepared, your next door neighbor. <laughs> hey, man, the Lord, is, the Lord really got you people in the trick bag. You thinking that, hey, hey y'all the shit, thinking that America is never going to be a, never going to be a done away with. And it is, man. This place is falling right now. That humbling process is starting right now. And it's only going to increase. It's not, it's not going to, it's not going to turn away. This is uh, Zephaniah 1 and 14. It says, the great day of Yahweh is near. It is near. 
and hasten it great and, and hasten it greatly. Even the voice of Yahweh, yeah, even the voice of the day of Yahweh, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. So these mighty men, these these you know these uh Cali muscle looking niggas, tough dudes that are, are tough in the flesh. All right, these these Edomites that can shoot, you know, from yards and yards away. They're gonna be humbled. Everyone is gonna be humbled, man. All these mighty people out here will be humbled. And man, how much more for you women? It says the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. You women are, are totally through. Y'all finna go through it. Y'all finna go through it on the scale. Man, y'all finna go through it. All right, y'all gonna be ravished. Hey, as the elder uh, Malcolm says, all right, y'all y'all been around the, the cock carousel for so long that the carousel's about to rad y'all. Hey, all these dudes that you want to turn down, man, hey, these, you know, they, that you want to turn down, they're going to be snatching y'all ass up and, and, and ravishing you in broad daylight in gangs. Think the Lord a gang. Think, think the Lord a joke, man. It says that day is that day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. A day of, of trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities, against the high towers, all right? Because the, the, the wrath of the day of the Lord, right? He's going to come with them ICBM nuclear missiles, all that chariot, those, those, those uh, thousands of chariots, man. So it is it's going to be a literally a dark day. It's going to be literally a gloomy day, man. It's going to be like a, like a cloudy day. There's going to be no sunlight whatsoever because there's going to be those, those chariots going to be around zapping and destroying everything. Gonna be zapping and destroying everything, man. Hey, the the uh, uh, the nuclear missiles are gonna be coming over here, blocking out the sun and, and and you know the atmosphere and everything, all the stars and all that. Everything's gonna be blocked out, man. Hey, you people are gonna get your judgment. You're gonna get your 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 ultimate judgment, which is thermonuclear missile fire, the lake of fire, torments by fire, man. It says, and I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men. Because they have sinned against Yahweh, and their blood shall be poured out as dust, and their flesh as dung. Neither shall their silver nor their gold, uh, it says, neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day, in the day of Yahweh's wrath. All right, because it says that riches profit not in the day of wrath. All right, riches are not going to profit you when the Lord wants blood, when the Lord wants wants to judge you, man. That's not going to do anything for you. All the things that you people are, are you know, uh, um, working towards, living, living towards, man. Hey, the folly of this life, the folly and bullshit of this world, man. Trying to become a millionaire. Trying to become a billionaire, man. None of that is going to help you in that day. It says, but the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. For he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. Yeah, it's going to be a speedy Riddance of you people, all right? A haughty spirit, they like, coming before a fall. Say so you have walking around that haughty spirit thinking that nothing can happen to you, and Lewis is about to throw you people down. Same way he's finna throw throw down his whole entire kingdom. His whole kingdom is about to be thrown down, man. So wait, how, how much more are the people that's in here? If I got a, a, a basket and it's eggs in it, and I throw the basket on the ground, and all the eggs are going to crack. And that's what the Lord is going to do to this kingdom, man. This kingdom is, is, is that basking you people out of eggs, man. And all y'all finna crack. All y'all finna be destroyed by Yahweh Hashem al -Shai For your wickedness. Isaiah 32 and verse 9, it says, Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my, hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. And the Lord are calling out to you, to you women as well. All right, telling you to rise up. Telling you to serve your husbands with a, with a, a humble and contrite heart, man. A uh, uh, you know, knowing that you fucked up, you you're you're a at the end of the day, you women are the reason why we're in this position right now, man. All right, we we, we all die because of the woman, all right. So you are the ones that should be a turning back to the Lord, trying to get right as well, trying to seek Him as well, man. Hearing His voice, listening to His voice, because you women are at ease right now. Think that nothing 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 is gonna happen. You living in, in La La Land, all right. You can go outside, you can shake your ass on top of a cop car without getting blown down. Without getting ran over, but it's gonna it's gonna come a day where it, it, all you women are gonna become food. All right, you're gonna be the. You, it's, it's truly gonna be shown that you are the weaker vessel, that you are the weaker man. 
You're going to be snatched up. You're going to be a, a put inside of pots, man. You're going to be boiled. <laughs> man, the Lord, is, the Lord is, like I said, like a time that before. Like a time that before, man. That has happened before. All right, women, a, a, well, um, I believe that was in the book of Kings. I right, well, a woman, a, two women say, well, you know what? We're going to cook uh, my daughter today. We're going to cook yours tomorrow, you know? And that spirit is coming back. Man, is a, all these people are going to be consumed with it. It's not just going to be little kids. It's going to be grown-ups. It's going to be grown men, grown women. So it says, uh, many days and years shall ye be troubled. You careless women, so you're gonna be troubled. You're gonna go through Jacob's trouble. You're gonna go through the hell, the desolation, all right? The the weeping and gnashing of the teeth, the pining away by way of famine. It says for the vintage shall fail and the gathering shall not come. Yeah, the Lord is gonna take away all of your ways of, of currency, the way that you're gonna make your money, the way that you're gonna a, a be out here, uh, um, you know, in order to to get by. The Lord is gonna take all of that away. He's doing that. He's doing that right now, man. He, he had, you know, women out here selling their bodies, selling their, you know, the OnlyFans and all that shit, man. All right, babe. None of that stuff is, is, is about to work very soon. All right, because it's, it's going to be a new system that's going to come. And all this, man, all this hell is about to be unleashed, man. So tremble ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Trip you and make bare. And gird sackcloth upon your loins. All right, because you're supposed to be in, in, in a humble spirit trying to serve and, and seek your heart by Shemal Shai, speaking to you so called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American women. All right, you're supposed to be trying to come back and seek your heart by Shemal Shai, which is your God, your power. The way that you're supposed to be living your life is according to His way and His will. All right, and hey, if you're not doing that, and you will be judged and you will be eradicated by your heart by Shemal Shai, man. So, hey, you better rise up. Because you will. You will be humbled. All right? It says that many, many, many days and years. All right? You, hey, you're going to be you're gonna be uh, troubled, man. So, you will be humbled. Um, what was something else I wanted to get? Let me see. Uh, it's Isaiah 66 and verse 4. It says, I also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them. Because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear. But they did evil before mine eyes, and shows that, and shows that in which I delighted not. So the Lord is going to bring all type of delusions, all type of demons on you people, on you people's minds. All right, your greatest fears are about, are about to come out. Now, yeah, people be scared of clowns, man. The Lord is going to have some fucking a seven feet tall killer clowns running around, fucking a, ripping you people apart, man. And he says that spirits of vengeance are going to be out here. Those are spirits of vengeance. All right? Serious, secret, serial killers out here, man, that's just, ready, just, just, that's just waiting to be unleashed. It's going to be it, it the damn clown going to be running around, man, on you people. The Lord's going to really choose, uh, choose y'all delusions and, and, and bring all of your greatest fears upon you for not serving him, for not seeking him. You will be humbled, man. This is a... Uh, Isaiah 65 and 12, it says, Therefore will I bring, therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear, but did shoes, uh, but did evil before mine eyes, and did shoes that wherein I delighted not. So it is the same thing the Lord said in the Isaiah 66 chapter. All right, the Lord's gonna bring a great judgment, great desolation, great destruction upon you people, all right? Through Esau, Edom, you know, with his great wrath, through through the other plagues that the Lord is going to have out here, man. It says that the Lord is going to bring the plagues of Egypt back. All right? He's going to bring back all, it's going to be like a time that was before, man. So it's going to be just, just great sufferings, great death, great calamities are going to be out here for you people. And it's all because you chose that we're in, he delighted not. You how about Shemal Shai? You're doing whatever you want to do. Walking in that pride. Walking in that sin. It says, therefore, uh, therefore thus said the Lord Yahweh, behold, my servants shall eat. The Lord's servants are going to eat. They're going to eat that day. But ye shall be hungry. Be, uh, behold, my servants shall drink. But ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice. But ye shall be ashamed. All these people will be ashamed, man. Yeah, these people are rejoicing right now. In a haughty and happy spirit, thinking there ain't nothing gonna happen to them, man. 
May the Lord's finna change all that in the snap of a finger. You know? And we're we're and we ain't even we ain't even mourning right now, man. We happy right now because we see this place falling. We see this kingdom crumbling, man. We're rejoicing right now. And you people are ashamed right now. <laughs> hey, all those people that, that took that took that stay up, you know, took the jump shot. Hey, hey, they they're 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 feeling it right now, man. A lot of people are getting ill from that. A lot of people are, are are their immune systems are weakened, so they getting that that uh, that curious George disease, you know. And you people are ashamed for not serving Yahweh by Shema Shine. You and this, these things are just gonna only increase, increase, and increase until they be at their fullest height, the fullest height of of of, of, of being ashamed, you know. It says, but ye, us, it's like it says, behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart. But ye shall cry, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. So these people are gonna be going through nothing but complete utter hell, man. Complete utter judgments by Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. A great sufferings because hey, you want to walk in that pride. So a hey, Lord has to humble you. A hey, all those that 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 be of pride will be humbled. So hey, I praise that was edifying. I would like to give all praise honor, and glory. Unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Chakurash, the one that's our elders and apostles of Great Mills and Adura Well, and citations and blessings to Akim now pushing this word with truth, sincerity, and charity. Shalom and a Baba Ball.